6.30 now and the sun's just rising over the marina there. And right over there where those pine trees are is where we have to walk to. That's how far you have to go. Goodbye, Nicole. <laughs> There she is, off she goes, back to Brisbane. I'm slack again, I've just left the marina down there, the marina pen, and I'm heading out, and heading north. Well, I put the sails up, there's not much wind up out here, but I've I put my uh, first reef in. I'm on my own, I like to just have one reef in. I can't get into trouble then, and then I've got my uh, jib on. In the center of the screen over there is your boom. Coming on round, looking astern, is Roslyn Bay Marina. About two o'clock now and we're well and truly on our way north. Got uh, North Kepler Beam now on this side over here. And that is your poon over there in the center of the screen. We're well and truly leaving it behind now. Well, that behind there is the headland of Curio Bay. I think he's going quite well. And this is all uh, National Park here. Coming up for five o'clock now, and we've just gone by Stockyard Point. There's quite a lot of buildings up there, and uh, it's in the Byfield National Park and uh, you can hire them. I have a great view over the sea. Coming on round. Over here is uh, Five Rocks, where I usually go behind at this time in the journey. But uh, it doesn't look very good today. going to carry on not sure where we're going yet it's going to get dark in half an hour there's one boat on the bow by about four or five miles away oh, we're cracking along and it's not very far to freshwater now uh, about five miles just got to go between that island and that those rocks underneath the sail, just there. Anyway, this is the mainland over here. And the sun has just gone down. Just see it there. And it's on sunset mode now. Coming up to Cape Manifold, we're doing about six and a half knots. Just going between Cape Manifold now and the island out here. There it is. That's the mainland. And we've run out of wind because of this island behind me. And that is, behind that hill there is fresh water. And that's where I'm hoping to go for tonight. of the island the other side. That's 
absolutely looks magnificent. It's 7.30 now and I've just anchored in fresh water. In six meters of water. Wanted to go to Pearl Bay, which is over there. Thought now I'll manage to roll the night and I can get a bit of sleep. Okay, thank you. I woke up this, this morning. Uh, I woke up all night really. Anyway, it's quite rough here and uh, rolly at the moment, so I'm just going to have a cup of coffee and a bit of breakfast, a bit of cereal, and then I'm going to head on, keep heading north. It's a bit rolly here this morning, it's the first time for a long time that I've had to eat me breakfast cereal out of a uh, coffee mug. Anyway, had a cappuccino and I've had a uh, some cereal and um, we're now going to head off uh, north to Pearl Bay or to Island Head Creek. Yeah, this is one of the most rolly anchorages I've been in for quite a while. So, anyway, a bit of a shock after coming, you know, being at the Keppels and coming out the marina. Uh, thinking that's what it is, and it's two miles off. Got a lovely beach all the way around here. Walked all along there, all along that beach to, uh, on a nice calm day, and I walked all the way along, starting in the morning at about seven o'clock, and I got back about one in the morning. Well, we're going past Coin Island, that's what it's called, not sloping. It's quite a big island, this. He's fairly confused. I think it's because the tide, I've got the tide against me. And it's pushing by here about three quarters of a knot, I reckon. Anyway, looking ahead. We've got to go around those islands up there now. And in between those, where those islands is, is the entrance to Port Clinton. We're going along quite nicely. I'm not in a hurry to get to uh, Island Head Creek. Uh, it's now low tide right at this moment, and uh, I'd like the tide to be in a bit before I come in, because there's a bit of a sandbank in the middle, and it makes it quite rough. Port Clinton, that is in there. I passed that, and uh, just as I was passing there, I got seasick. So I had a little bit of a puke over the side. Which hasn't happened for probably four years, four or five years. Anyway, we're going... Going pretty well. Just about to pass Pearl Bay, but I'm not going in there. I need to get to Island Head Creek where I'm not going to roll. Passing Dome Island. And uh, over in the center of the screen over there is 
Pearl Bay. I can see one boat in there at the moment. I think there's another one going to join them in a minute. It's come all the way from uh, Roslyn Bay today. Over there on Dome Island, there's some nice caves on there. And if you look on YouTube or, you know, do Dome Island canoeing, you'll see quite a few uh, people have got lovely shots of them paddling their canoes through the caves. And Split Island. A high tide. I think I can't see all the way through there at the moment, but at the waterline. But at high tide, you can uh, paddle your canoes through there, and it's just a small gap, you know, ideal for paddling your canoe through. And when you see the photos of people paddling their canoe through, it looks very spectacular. Anyway, not far to go now. The centre of the screen down there is. Uh, Island Head Creek. This is Island Head Creek in here. We've got to go up towards that rocking island in front and then I've got to go reasonably close to the rocks on the other side of the channel to avoid a sandbank in the middle. the rock coming along this side here we got down to seven meters of water but now we're in about 24 here well we're inside Island Head Creek now and uh, I've got to put this sail away. The tide's coming in. Uh, it's now 5.30. So it's been coming in five hours. And that's looking at the entrance there. Very nice. Well, after leaving Keppel Bay Marina yesterday at about 12.30, I managed to get to Freshwater at uh, about 7.30 in the evening. And uh, I anchored there. To be honest with you, I hadn't worked out the tides. So anyway, I, I stuck it in six metres of uh, water and hoped for the best. And I don't think they're very big actually at the moment. I think they're about two and a half metres, maybe three metres here. And, uh, but, uh, and then I came on this morning to... Uh, to double, no, no, no. I came on this morning to Island Head Creek. It was blowing quite hard and there was a big swell running. And I left and I just uh, had a double reef main and I was gonna put my jib up and then I thought, oh no, no, I'd... it's rough enough, Simon. You know, I don't wanna have to go and climb on the deck up there and put it on. So I uh, sailed all the way with uh, just the double reef main which was a bit slow to be honest we're doing about four 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 and a half knots I think would have been the best we got out of it all day uh, basically and uh, consequently on the way here I, I haven't been sick for about oh five years anyway I thought oh I'm downstairs oh, I don't feel a bit a bit queasy Simon I beg Go upstairs, and before I could even get upstairs, I realised that I was going to be sick, so I had to throw up over the side. But uh, just on the deck, basically. 
Which, uh, and uh, cleaned it up when I got here. But I feel a lot better now. We're in and uh, in here, very quiet, and uh, I've got a, a new lease for life. And I'd like to thank everybody who's uh, buying me a beer as I come up. I'm having a nice glass of wine now, so cheers everybody. And tonight I'm going to cook myself, since I've just come out of Keppel Bay Marine, Marina, green beans, which are a luxury, and some carrots. And I'm going to have some chicken, I think they're thighs, I think. So I bought them and they're not cry back, so I've got to cook them. And the still, sun's still going down, basically over that hill. Nowhere near is it uh, sunset yet, but it looks very nice. <laughs> 